Hi, my name is Robin Smith and I'm the General Manager of Sales and Marketing at Virtual Logistics. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about some things that owners, CFOs, CIOs, uh, and CEOs of SMBs and SMEs need to think about it. Need to think about as it relates to uh, data integration and data flows. We live in an increasingly um, high volume world of data. Data, if you think about it, data comes into our organizations and goes out of our organizations in many, many different forms. Typically, in the past, we've always looked at data from the individual silo perspective. So we'll have this data flow that we deal with. We'll have that data flow going out that we deal with. And as business owners, we tend to step back, look at that, and address that individual problem. And what does that do for an organization? In the short term, the problem may get fixed. In the longer term, what happens is that you get a mishmash of solutions um, and orientations as they relate to data flows. What we recommend to customers and to clients is that as an owner, you step back and you look at how data goes into your organization and how data flows out step back and do a 360 of the business. And what do I mean by a 360? A 360 is to look at and quant and, and, and catalog the data flows that come in. You may get EDI with your major retail partners. You may get orders coming in in a spreadsheet. You may send out an order confirmation in a PDF that's generated by your ERP or your accounting software. You may be dealing on the back end of your business with uh, suppliers, your purchasing product, you are dealing with transporters who bring that product into your organization. And you may deal with customs brokers if you're shipping internationally, your bank. All of these flows involve data. And data is increasing exponentially as the world becomes more and more digitized. I'll give you some examples. The Weather Channel, who provide weather uh, information in North America and around the world deal with on average one terabyte of data every month. One terabyte is a phenomenal amount of information. I can remember my first personal computer that had a five megabyte hard drive and in those days people thought they had died and gone to heaven with a five megabyte hard drive. So one terabyte of data is a huge amount of data. So you need to have an integration strategy as it relates to those data flows. Now not everything is going to flow in the same way, so what you need to do is you need to step back, uh, catalog those data flows, and look at how those data flows impact your organization. As an example, if you have customer service reps who are manually entering in orders either from a web store or from a spreadsheet or from an email, into your accounting or your ERP package, that's costing you money. And how is it costing you money? Well, there's lots of statistics and lots of studies that have been done that quantify that order processing flow from anywhere from $50 to $150, depending on the vertical that you sit in. So there's a lot of cost s sitting in that manual data flow. The downstream effects, Manually entered data typically has errors in it. And what are the costs of those errors as they flow through your organization? Incorrect product gets shipped. Inco product gets shipped on the wrong day. Uh, you have to deal with the cost of the return or you absorb the cost when you ship the wrong product to the retailer and the retailer's policy is, is that they don't return the product. So these are all of the things that relate to the downstream costs of not having a data integration strategy. So what we say to people and what we say to companies is step back, catalog how data goes in and out of your organization and develop a, a global strategy for your organization based on a comprehensive middleware solution that allows you to automate the flows both in and out of the organization. In a digital world, your data is the currency that you trade on. If that data is flawed or poor, then that's going to cost you money. We have a very interesting ebook 
which is available on our website for anybody who wants to explore specific topics in this subject. But that ebook is a compilation of some of our blog articles as they relate to costs of poor data. There's some interesting information available um, from GS1 uh, in, the, in, the, in the United Kingdom on this subject. There's also um, some things to think about when one looks at integration as it relates to web store integration, uh, ERP integration, EDI integration. So I encourage you to take a look at that.